Hello everyone, I'm Ibrahim Talhateke and a student in Bursa Technical University and a research assistant at Halic University. I'm here to introduce the study named as Microstructure and Surface Roughness Connection on Machine Black Iron and Experimental Determination. The experiment has been conducted on ENGJS 603 Dactyl Iron which is equivalent to GGG60 ductile iron. Here, its chemical composition and tensile test results are shown. Corresponding amount and values are in the range of standard of ductile iron. In the standard of GGG60 ductile iron, ultimate tensile strength has to be higher than 600 megapascal, yield strength should be higher than 380 megapascal and elongation should be higher than 5%. Tensile test has been done to obtain a Johnson Cook material model. With dynamic analysis in an FEA software, Johnson Cook material model has been obtained by tensile test. Analysis has given the same rupture point, it is the result of material model. Also, it seems to be a bridle rupture in experiment and bridle rupture in the simulation has been provided by Johnson Cook damage model, which is not shared in the study. Johnson Cook material model is used to simulate usually dynamic behavior of the material. Its usage in milling machining simulations are very common. Stress distribution, which is shown at the third image, um, depicts maximum stress before failure and it is consistent with tensile test. On the investigated parts, there are seven discrete surfaces on each. Number one and number seven surfaces of the two parts as taken into account. Here their microstructure properties are shown, also their image from taken a microscope uh, has been shown here. After face milling process, surface roughness and hardness measurements has been done uh, below these surfaces and also are shown in the table. It should be noted that hardness, perlet phase fraction, number of spheres are all consistent with the standard of ductile iron. In the material standard of this type of ductile iron, Number of spheres should be higher than 100. Perlet phase fraction has to be higher from 50%. Uh, Brunel hardness may depend on customer specifications, but it is between 190 and 270. Surface roughness values, here are the highest measured values of surface roughness. These values are limited by customer in technical drawings to obtain a suitable surface quality. Without a limitation and low quality surface may lead alignment problems, material failure which starts from surface before the determined life cycle is reached. As the main idea of the connection between surface roughness and microstructure has been shown here, number of spheres has an upward trend with increase of surface roughness and perlet phase fraction, so is. Hardness seems to have a downward trend against surface roughness. Decreased trend in hardness with the increase of surface roughness seems to be the bigger height effect in the topography. These heights or in another word cavities are unable to resist against the hardness test. It may be the reason, we think. Perlet phase, this little trend of increase, seems to be the reason behind higher surface roughness values, because perlet phase is a harder phase against ferret phase. Number of spheres are more and directly related to cooling rate, and it is out of scope of this study.
In conclusion, we can say uh, Johnson Cook material, uh, which is achieved in the study, will be used in further finite element, element analysis to develop a different model. Also, in this study, machining parameters and um, casting proce uh, processes, the, the, all of the parameters were all fixed, and the measurement of seven discrete surfaces of the two parts was taken into account. Mm -hmm. And according to findings, number of spheres and surface roughness are related. Hardness may not be able to give an insight about material quality because it was measured on the machined surface. However, uh, it has demonstrated this uh, in the NGJS 603 materials properties as it is in the standard. As a result, a material inspection should be conducted for a machining process because it may be the root cause of the actual problem behind the low quality surface problem. Thank you very much for listening.